guys welcome back okay so happy st patty's day i wanted to do a green look today of course as you can see i'm in my green and i couldn't decide which palette i wanted to use so i have here the alter ego goddess palette very very pretty and there is some green in here as you can see a couple of green shimmers and a green matte so I could definitely pull off some green with this, but I also have here my Give Me Glow Juicy Olive Palette. Very, very pretty as well. And you know, it's definitely a green palette for a green look. So since I can't decide, I decided I was going to just go ahead, do some swatches from both, and I might end up mixing them together today. So what I wanna do since the goddess palette has what is it 15 shades in here i'm not going to swatch all of them because a lot of the mattes look similar i'm going to swatch all the shimmers a few of the mattes and try to get a feel for this palette first So these are all the shimmers from the Goddess palette. Very, very pretty. Nothing too bold. There's a couple of shades that kind of look like they are like duochromes. This one here and this one here. Very, very pretty. And these are just a few of the matte shades. So out of the Goddess palette, I feel like my favorite shades are going to be, what is this, Artemis up here. This one is gorgeous. And then this kind of duochrome shade down here, which is Cassandra. Very, very pretty shades. Now I'm going to swatch the Juicy Olive and I'll just swatch the whole palette. There's only six shadows in here. Okay, the difference in quality is <laughs> it's crazy. This Juicy Olive palette, I mean, these swatches are so smooth and opaque and rich. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. And those shimmers, oh, out of this world. Okay, you know what? The Alter Ego Goddess is gonna have to wait for another day. Today, I'm just gonna use the Juicy Olive. That's it, that's it. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna go in with some of my e.l.f. All Day Stay Eyeshadow Primer, and then we'll jump into an eyelid. Okay, so since these shadows are so pigmented, I think I wanna start out with the dark green first in my crease and just try to create the shape that I want for this eyelid. Okay, now that I have my shape kind of winged out with that dark shadow, I wanna go into this lighter green here and just kind of smoke out the upper portion of that shadow. Okay, so these colors are so pretty, so pigmented, and are blending 
together very nicely. Okay, guys, so I'm not sure where I'm going with this, but let's just hope it turns out well, okay? <laughs> okay, guys, so now I'm going to take my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas and attempt to gently cut my crease without making a mess. <laughs> Okay, so now that I have my cut crease carved out, I wanna go back into the dark green shade and just tap a little bit of that on the outer corners. I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave a negative white space yet or not. Okay, so I guess I decided to leave a little bit of a negative space there. <laughs> Don't know how that happened, but now I'm gonna go into this shade here and tap that right next to the dark green. and just kind of fading out that negative space just a little bit as I move forward before I put the shimmers on. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go into this shade here and just place that on the inner portion of this eyelet. Now I'm going to go into this gorgeous shade here and place that right in the center area of my cut crease. Okay, you guys, so I have blended all of those shimmers together on my lid on my cut crease and i really like how these shadows are performing i mean the shimmers are blending with the mattes no problem i love it i love this whole color story so um am i doing a black eyeliner I'm gonna do a black eyeliner, but I don't think I'm gonna completely wing it out. I think I'm just going to put it on, you know, my lash line and then move on to my face. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with some of my Milk Hydro Grip Primer today. Now I'm gonna go in with my Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Foundation today. I have the shade F13. Well, upon initial application, I could definitely see how this foundation got its name because it's definitely concealing. I mean, you know, it's really covering the dark circles under my eyes and working on the darkness around my mouth, the hyperpigmentation. And I definitely can see that it does have like a hydrating, glowy type look to it. 
not that super dry down matte. So yeah, I definitely see how the conceal and hydrate is coming into place because it's concealing and it does look hydrating. Now to conceal today, I'm going to use my Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. Have not used this in I don't know how long. This is in the shade C13. So I don't know, it's probably gonna be around the same shade as this foundation, I'm guessing. Um, but I'm just going to use a little bit of this just to make sure none of my discoloration pops through. So it looks like it's just a tad bit lighter than this foundation, just a little bit. So I feel like this concealer from Revolution is blending in very nicely with the foundation. So hopefully the powder that I use today doesn't completely destroy this nice hydrated look I have going on today. So for powder this week, I chose my Maybelline and this one is the Shine Free Loose Powder in the shade Medium. I don't think they had a dark when I ordered this, so, cause I'm pretty sure I would've ordered the dark. But it comes with a little powder puff inside and it has the little piece of paper here too. Tweezers always do the trick. So this is what the medium looks like. And I'm just going to go in with a brush today. And just tap a little bit of this under my eyes. It looks like this powder might have a little bit of sheen in it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it looks like there might be a little bit of sheen in this powder. I don't know, it could just be me. So the jury's still out on this powder, I'm not sure. It looks like it's setting perfectly fine. Um, I don't see anything happening that's making me just immediately hate it. Um, but if that is like shimmer in there that I think I'm seeing, I don't really like that. <laughs> but it looks like it's setting very nicely. So we'll see. We'll see how it holds up throughout the day. Now to set the rest of my face, I'm going to use my Kiss Professional. This is the Pro Touch Matte Powder Foundation. So I'm just gonna use that on the rest of my face and to kind of tone down the brightness from the loose powder. I really like this powder, you guys. It's very nice. It sets my face very nicely. I don't have to use a lot. It just looks really good. I like it. Now, the shade that I have is Toffee Caramel. So if you ever come across this in your beauty supply or wherever they sell Kiss Professional products, check it out because it's not bad. And I think I only paid like eight bucks for this. Okay, you guys. Now, if you watch my Shop My Stash, you know that I said I was going to try out this Tarte Park Avenue Princess bronzing palette that I got in one of my subscription boxes, probably my BoxyCharm. I had this on the shelf. Of course, it's gorgeous. So, you know, just kind of looking pretty on the shelf because I'm like, this is not going to bronze me. But looking at this last shade i just want to try it out i want to see if it'll surprise me because sometimes you look at bronzers in the pan and it's like mm, that ain't gonna do nothing and then you put it on and it's like wait hold up <laughs> that isn't really working so i'm going to try this last shade here and see what happens it smells good
Okay, so I'm just doing half of my face so you guys can check it out and let me know if you think it's doing anything. I think it is. <laughs> I do, just looking at this side of my face that's not bronze and looking at this side that is, I definitely see a difference. So I guess this last shade will work for me because it is giving me a nice, soft, bronzed look. I'm not mad at it, okay? And I actually like how nice and soft the bronzing is because I can just kind of like gently build it up to my liking. Yeah, I like that. Oh my goodness, I'm really surprised. I am very surprised because when I looked at this, I was like, nah, but I'm glad I actually gave it a shot because I really like how it bronzed me up. Very, very nice. Okay, so one of the blushes that I chose is my Milani Coral Cove. This is like one of their OG shades. Very bright, peachy, beautiful blush. I wanna use a little bit of this for spring and since I'm going with the green, I think it'll look nice together. Just a nice, soft, flush of color, not too much. See how nice and soft that is? It's like you can see the color, but it's just kind of like a nice, healthy flush of color. And for highlight, I chose this Ciate London Confetti Highlighter. I got this in my BoxyCharm, I believe. And does this have a shade? Yeah, I don't know. If it has a specific shade, I'll put it on the screen. But this is what it looks like. It truly looks like confetti. Very, very pretty. So we're going to see how this looks on my face. Okay, that's pretty. Very, very pretty. Hopefully you guys can see that. Yeah, that is gorgeous. I love when I get stuff in my subscription box that I can actually use that works for me because I get so much stuff that I can't use that when I get something good, I'm excited, okay? So let's go ahead and finish up this lower lash line and get these lips together. Okay, so I'm just going in with my Rimmel Scandalize Black Pencil Liner for my lower lash line. Now I just wanna go in with the dark green and smoke out my lower lash line. Trying to keep it pretty close. I don't want to go down too far with this dark green. And for the inner portion, I want to go in with this lighter shade, matte green. These shadows are so freaking pigmented. Oh my goodness. Oh. See that pigmentation? Oh my goodness. I love that green, that's so pretty. If you don't wanna go so bright and out there like I did, you can just take the dark one, you know, all the way across and not bother with this, but I love that color, it's pretty. Okay, so for mascara today, I'm gonna try out this pretty vulgar mascara that I got in my monthly subscription box. I know y'all get tired of me saying monthly subscription box, but <laughs> 
I get a lot of stuff from my boxes. I'm not always just shopping, okay? <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use this on my lashes today. And this is what it looks like. I think I actually like this mascara, you guys. Y'all let me know what you think. I know it's kind of hard to tell sometimes um, as far as length, but I definitely like how it feels. So I'll just look like this so you guys can see. I won't see it until I edit. <laughs> and then I'll be like, oh, that mascara is trash. No, <laughs> but yeah, you guys take a look and let me know what you think as far as volume and length. Okay. Yeah, I think I like it, you guys. I think I do. Okay, so you guys let me know what you think. This is what we're looking like on the mascara. Okay, you guys, so for lips today, I'm feeling a bit nude. So I'm going in with my ColourPop BFF4 Lip Liner. And my ColourPop lipstick in the shade Quickie. And on top of that, I'm going in with my e.l.f. Mocha Twist lip gloss. Now I'm gonna set it all in place with my MAC Fix Plus, and this is in the shade Lavender. I love this stuff, you guys. <laughs> that was a lot. So this is my final St. Patty's Day look, you guys using the Give Me Glow Juicy Olive. I have to say I'm not surprised. I love their shadows. They are bomb. Their palettes are bomb. And this one is no different. I mean, get into it, okay? <laughs> I love it. And I like this look for St. Patty's Day, okay? So hopefully you guys enjoyed hanging out with me while I use this gorgeous, amazing, beautiful green palette. I will list all of the products that I used on my face down below. So if you're curious or forgot or didn't quite catch something, I do list what I put on my face down below. At least I tried to remember to. <laughs> but anyways, I love this palette, you guys. It is the bomb, okay? So I hope you guys have a nice St. Patty's Day, you know, with all of this stuff that's going on. I'm just trying to keep it lighthearted and fun with this makeup thing, because I know for a lot of us, it's an escape, it's a getaway, it's something that we can do just to kind of take our minds off of everything else that's kind of sad going on in the world today. So hopefully you enjoyed. Please hit like if you did and subscribe if you're not subscribed and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!